But now, I'm confident that you guys know how to create a browser action extension by making use of the different Chrome APIs. So now, let's learn how to create a page action extension. So a page action extension is an extension that works only on specific pages. And on the pages that they're not applicable, they will be inactive and grayed out. But why would we want to use a page action extension? So let's say we are on a website that displays the top 100 movies of all time. But we are just interested in the movie title and not in the image or the description or the release date or any of that. So we can write a Chrome extension that displays just the movie title. But then this extension doesn't really make sense on a website like Facebook or YouTube. And we also don't want any resources to be taken up by an extension that doesn't even work on that particular page. So when an extension makes sense only for a few pages, we make use of page action extensions. And for our learning, we will be creating an extension that changes the font style on just developer.chrome.com pages. And our focus here is not on learning CSS, so we will be applying just some basic styling and concentrate more on how to apply them using Chrome extensions. So let's get started.